Hey guys, it's Blue from Main Main Games, and this is Tip Tuesday, episode number 15. And in this video, I'm going to be going over a CT spawn smoke that you can throw from Cat on D Dust 2, and it's going to smoke out that CT spawn entrance over there. So, this is a good smoke to use if you're doing something like a 3 2 split where you have Terrace coming from long as well as Cat, because it's going to help your Terrace cross from long when you throw the smoke, and it's also going to delay the rotators from CT spawn. Uh, because they're not going to want to blindly push through smoke unless they absolutely have to. And if they do, it should be a pretty easy kill. So what I see a lot of people doing is throwing from where I just was on that box. And it kind of lands in an inconsistent location. And you're also kind of vulnerable from plat. So you can actually throw the smoke. So you can't actually be spotted from plat over there. So all you have to do is stand in the middle of that window. Which is the second window from the left. And then you just aim your crosshair at this crack on the wall. Uh, it's near the top. And so I'll just line up again. Then you aim your crosshair at the white part of the crack on the left and release. And then you'll see that it lands pretty much in the middle of the CT spawn entrance. And it'll smoke out that entire thing, making it very easy to cross. And if there's already CTs pushed up, playing elevator maybe, you can either smoke out that cross like you normally would taking long. Or you can have the cat players peek that spot and see if he's playing there. Uh, but you also have to be aware of the person that is probably going to be on plat. So anyways, that's pretty much it for that smoke. Uh, once again, just to do it quickly, the second window, and then the white part of the crack, right in the middle of the blue part of the wall. And then I'll just go down and land there. So it's very simple, it should be easy to get. And so that's pretty much it for that smoke. I did want to show you a few pop flashes though. Alright, so I'm in another round, and I just want to show you these. They're pretty simple. The first is going to be what pros like to call a YOLO flash. And so you're probably not going to be using this in a team situation, but for example, if it's a 1 on 4 and you're trying to take Cat quick, this might work, so it's worth a try. But to actually throw this flash, all you have to do is run towards the stairs here and bank the flash off the ramp part of the stairs. And you're basically going to want to run with the flash and peek as soon as it goes off. Because, as you saw, I only got blinded for maybe half a second. However, if the CT is playing here, he's going to get very blinded by that flash, unless he turns away. And because of the way you're throwing it, he's not actually going to have a lot of time to turn away from that flash. So you might be able to pick these guys off as they are blind. Because as you can see, you really only get half blind for maybe half a second, because uh, it's landing behind you, so you're not actually ever full blind, and you should still be able to aim even when you're half flash, but if you run it out like that, uh, it's not going to be as good, so you're really going to be wanting to look at plat as you peek, uh, so just keep that in mind. So that's pretty much it for that flash. Like I said, don't use this in a team situation because really you're going to be flashing your entire team unless they know to look away from that or if they're behind you, uh, for example, but like I said, just try to refrain from using that. So the next one is going to be a pit pop flash. Uh, so if you're playing pit, and you know they're coming, you can toss a flash so basically they get full blinded. Uh, you can throw it from there, but I don't really like that flash as much because it kind of lands in the middle right over here, and it's not really going to blind anyone over in this direction. Uh, so to throw this flash, all you're going to have to do is bank it off this wall there, and as you can see, it bounces and flashes pretty much everyone in this area, and you can peek as soon as the flash goes off and they're really not going to have time to turn away from it because it's a fast flash you're just banking it off and then it's bouncing and hopefully blinding everyone and then you can peek them so you're going to really want to time this flash right uh, so not too soon and not too late so basically as soon as they're rounding the corner to the blue dumpster you're going to want to throw this flash so you get them as soon as they're about to peek pit and you get a few seconds of them being blind and hopefully some easy kills. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know they are simple pop flashes, but hopefully they help you out. Uh, because sometimes simple is the best. So, uh, anyways, guys, if you want to subscribe, I make weekly CSGO content. Uh, sometimes two or three a week. But I do do this Tip Tuesday every Tuesday, well, obviously. Uh, so... Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. It would definitely help me out a lot, and I'd greatly appreciate it. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.